Hi everyone, this is Maddie, one of the naturalists here at Gulf Branch Nature Center, bringing you this week's five minute find, where we explore seasonal happenings in five minutes or less. You may have noticed that in our area, the leaves have really begun to change color. I thought that this week we would explore why leaves change color and why deciduous trees lose their leaves each year. As the fall season progresses, the amount of daylight we receive lessens. This change in daylight triggers a response in many plants. The cold, dry months of winter are some of the hardest for plants to survive. So many broadleaf plants have adopted a strategy to conserve energy, preserve water, and reduce damage from cold and drought. They lose their leaves. Before a tree loses its leaves, it first reabsorbs some of the minerals and nutrients that can be found in the leaves. There's no sense in wasting. This causes chlorophyll, the pigment that gives leaves their green color and allows plants to absorb energy from sunlight, to break down. The result is that we end up seeing all of the other beautiful pigments that have been present in the leaves all along. Carotenoids and flavonoids are pigments that contribute to the yellow and orange colors we find on leaves, including hickories and walnuts, tulip poplars, locusts, and ash, as well as a whole host of other living species, including carrots, pumpkins, even canaries, shrimp, and flamingos. Carotenoids begin to break down while the chlorophyll does. They just break down at a slower rate, which allows us to see the yellow and orange colors they are responsible for. They play a role in photosynthesis and other biological processes in plants and animals. Other pigments called anthocyanins are responsible for the red and purpley colors we see on trees like dogwoods, maples, and even plants like Virginia creeper, which are the leaves we're seeing here. Unlike carotenoids and flavonoids, anthocyanins have not been present in the leaves all along. As the sugar concentration in the leaves increases as fall progresses, sunlight triggers the production of anthocyanins. Research suggests that anthocyanins help protect leaves from excess sunlight, but no one knows for sure. Tannins are the pigment that are responsible for the brown colors we see in leaves, whether we're looking at a white oak, swamp white oak, or American beech. Because tannins are the last pigments to break down in leaves, we often find brown on leaves that were previously a different color earlier in the fall season. We're seeing that here with these tulip poplar or tulip tree leaves. Early in the season, you'll find tulip tree leaves that are bright yellow like we're seeing here. But later in the season, you'll find tulip tree leaves that are a brown color like we're seeing here. And if we take a look around at the leaf litter that surrounds us in a forest, you'll find that what we see mostly is brown. And that's because the only pigment that is left in these fallen leaves are the tannins. A combination of all of the pigments, anthocyanins, carotenoids, flavonoids, and tannins can create a rainbow of color in the fall. Sometimes even on the same leaf, like we're seeing here with these sour gum or tupelo leaves. All right, everyone, thanks so much for joining me to learn more about why leaves change color and why trees lose their leaves. Get out there and enjoy the fall and remember to join us next week for our next five minute find.